Can I get a talk to after you? No, bueno, man. Oh, cheers. How is it? It's not bad. Not bad because it was free. Free? Yeah, the girl got her off set up some new shit like a test out, apparently. No fucking way. I owe that Polish freak a fortune. That's why I never paid a cunt. I actually owe him a few quid myself. So what I do is, I call around to his gaff about half two on a Saturday morning after the sucker's dick. And he's too pissed to remember the next day. No, there's no problem. Gives me on taking up his cock in his mouth. Let me tell you that. And he never calls you up on it. Yeah, he did once ages ago, but I was like, oh, well, was that the night you came all over my face? So I just brushed it off as I mentioned it since. Now, my little money fairies, get your lips, tits, and hips in order. We have a customer in the lobby. He said he wants to see the bitches. He wants to line up. What are you doing here? It's about to get changed. What are you up then? Now, sir, take your pick. Which one of your beaches wants to come with me? As you can see, we have the finest selection of eager horse that you'll find anywhere in this city. And boy, are they dirty. They do anything, from kissing your feet on all four, to stick their tongues right up your arse and lick your balls clean. You wanna come with me? For sure, baby. I want this little bitch. Nie ma w tym lepszego od narkomana. Sir? If you don't give it up front, you can't give it up, he's behind. Now, bitches. Back to celebrate Christmas! You wanted me? Larry, listen, that guy is back. What guy is this? Ah, you know, your favorite customer. Fuck, do I have to? He's a fucking weirdo. So now you have shame, do you? To dignify for this, aren't you? It is a calm, and you do what you're told. Fuck off. Get back to work. Get down to your knee, whore. Whatever you say, bucko. I know the office. Don't fucking talk to me like you know me. Open your mouth. And fucking call me baby. Don't you want it? Cut the shit, will ya? Right, right, I'll cut the shit. Listen. Do you want your dick sucked or not? I don't know. 
Well, if you want your dick sucked, you've come to the right place. But if you want to talk, you'll get cheaper service off a fucking counsellor. I pay a lot of money to be here, little cunt. Hey, this the little bitch, little contact. It's all well and good when you want to fuck me, but if you say cut the shit, that means for both of us, pal. It's back on. I want you over my lap. No. Spike it. Now that I can live with. Don't be afraid, Uncle. I won't bite. Jesus! What the fuck? What did I just fucking say? Listen, man. This is so much to get rid of stress. If you got issues, you can fuck off home. <laughs> the bank took my home, and my wife left me. I should have come here looking for a job, not a blowjob. Man, shit happens. You think it was my ambition to suck dick for a living? No, I don't. Why do you do it? Drugs. You're not gay then? <laughs> Any kids? One day. I hope. How the fuck are you going to manage that? Well, actually, in a previous life, I was a shit hot accountant. What about you? What? A gay. <laughs> Kids? One day, maybe. Who knows? Maybe one day me and you can have them together. Don't make me sick. Mister, picked a pretty fucked up place to come for a straight man. You too? Not really. I didn't pay to come here. I bet you're paying now, Tor. Hello there, young man. No, I, I tell you what, if you put your mother on, I don't mind for you to stay up for a little bit longer. Night, night. <laughs> Cześć. Tak dzwonię. Powiedzieć dobranoc. Wszystko ok? Dobrze. Nie. Nie wracajmy do tego. Wyjaśniłem to tobie wczoraj. Nie, pieniądze nie rosną na drzewach. Więc dobrze. Ja mam biznes, który muszę się zająć. Będę późno. Ja wiem. Nie, w porządku. Kocham Cię. Do zobaczenia. Cały syna na dobranoc. Pa. Pa. Come here for a second. Ok, daddy. Sit on my knee. You know I love you, don't you? Get that from me, son, will you?
with daddy like taste. What's your name? Clive. So why are you here then? Well, I guess I've been always curious. And what have you found? I found that if there is a new me, it's as useless as the old me. It's fucking bullshit. Look at me. <laughs> you look fine. I don't look fine. This is too fucking weird. After tonight, I'm not doing this again. Do you know why he likes to have you dressed as of a child? Of course. Do you? Yeah, he's just like the rest of them. He's a fucking pedo. Prawdę mówiąc, jego syn zmarł kilka lat temu. Miał tylko osiem lat. I can't understand what you're saying. Well, fucking understand this. You are fucking whore. You allow old men to stick their dicks up into your arse for money. And now all of a sudden you have some high grounds. Now all of a sudden you have some standards, dignity. You should be ashamed of yourself. So she fucking you. I haven't feel shame in years. Just get back to work. Fine. This guy comes back again. I'm charging him more. Out. Fuck off. Where the fuck have you been? So I didn't take this. I'm not paying you to talk like a man. You've been a bold boy. Now come over here and apologize to your daddy. Sorry, Daddy. Where were you? I just had to go to the boys room. That's, that's all. Don't run off without telling me. Do you know how scared I was? So scared that I wouldn't see you again. Do you have any idea? Don't leave me again. Don't you ever leave me again. Daddy loves you so much. Daddy loves you. Daddy loves you, okay? Daddy loves you. What is this? It's just a bit of grass. You want some? No. So you don't want a joint, you don't want your dick soaked, so what do you want? It must be hard, being a straight man and working in a place like this, being sweated on by a man twice your age and twice your size. I had some ups and downs. I'll say, yeah. Look, you don't have to go through with all this just because you paid all the money. Hmm? Let me have a word with my boss. No, no, no. That won't be necessary, Clive. Do you want to go? I didn't come here looking to screw a faggot. I came in here that I thought that I could find some piece of shit that I could step on. When you came in here acting like a fairy, you really turned me off. I thought that you actually like to be fucked by a man like me. I do what I do for money. I bet you're fine with what you're doing, eh? I'm gonna tear you in two pieces. You are the lowest piece of cunt in this town. You are a junkie. You are nothing. And neither are you. You can call someone in here right now and stop this. You could, but you won't. You can't afford it. But you know what? You are going to end up feeling worse than I do. And that's what I pay for. Merry Christmas, cunt. Try it, kochanie. Nie, ty nie musisz przepraszać. To ja przepraszam. To, jak zajmujesz się naszym synem, jest wspaniałe i zasługuje na szacunek. 
Zostawiłem pieniądze w spodniach, które miałem wczoraj na sobie. Kup sobie coś ładnego. <laughs> Kocham Cię. Still here? Yeah. Just having a, a moment before I head back onto the real world. Well, make as much time as you need. Thanks. Maybe it's not my place to ask anything, but go ahead. The Polish work I work for. He never tells me anything. If you don't look enough like him. Who? It's for the best. Onwards and upwards. Eh? Absolutely. I hope you and Clive enjoyed yourselves. Clive will be very happy when he shuts the money you've paid him into his arm. I take it you'll be coming back again then? I don't think so. Shame. I'll be out there. Just want to sell the ball with you before I go. Why did I have to pay up front? He's a regular. Sit and have a drink with us first. No, I better be going. Oh, come on! All right, but just a one. Unlikely friends, aren't we? I like your place to meet a friend. I beg to differ. Man could spend the rest of his days in a place like this. If I wasn't too careful. I drink to that. Cheers. Cheers. We gain a day in hope to save another night. But in the end, we lose it all. Everything's black. And tomorrow we come back here to this place to lose it all again. <laughs>